Hey, welcome to Steel Lodge. Today we're checking out a game I've been looking forward to for quite a while, and that's Digimon Survive. And here we're checking it out on the Steam Deck. Now we're gonna look at performance and if there's any issues with this game, and there are actually a couple issues on the Steam Deck, but I'll show you some workarounds so you can still enjoy this experience on the Steam Deck because it works quite well on there and the font's quite large, so it's easy to play on it. Let's jump right into it. After the tutorial to the combat in the game and a pretty intense opening, you're thrown into an anime cutscene pretty fast. Now unfortunately, if you're running a lot of versions of Proton, this anime cutscene is just gonna glitch out right away and have the notorious kind of rainbow color bars that you see for Proton when it doesn't have a video codec it can use. Now you can fix this by switching over to Proton GE. And if you know how to set that up, it's pretty straightforward. Just go to your Steam compatibility settings and switch it over to Proton GE once you have that installed and that will fix this anime cutscene and the cutscene can play out, but there's actually a problem beyond this. When the cutscene plays out and finishes, the game's just gonna glitch out and not let you continue. And this is a pretty significant problem. I've been on Reddit looking to see if people have solutions for this, and honestly, there's nothing right now. So what I recommend just doing and what I did is I just went on my PC, went through the cutscene, and you can basically save any time you want in this game. So I went through the cutscene and went through that one part where the game does glitch out, dropped a save, and then switched right back over to the Steam Deck, and was good to go. I don't know if there's very many anime cutscenes in this game to be completely honest with you, but I played for around 45 minutes and I was going fast to try to get to another cutscene, but I never encountered another one. So if you drop saves frequently and then just go around the cutscenes on your computer or something, I think you'll be good for the most part. But hopefully there's an update for Proton or this game that just fixes this issue altogether so you don't have to do this. Another current problem on the Steam Deck is that button input prompts for a lot of the buttons are just missing right now on the Steam Deck. I tested this on the PC and they're there, so hopefully this just gets updated. And I tested different versions of Proton and they weren't there either, so we'll just have to hope this gets updated soon. Now the last issue I had with this game on the Steam Deck is that the trigger inputs weren't working. I was trying to open my map to move locations in this game and it said left trigger and it just wouldn't work. So I went into the controls for the game and tried remapping the left trigger buttons and clicking the triggers and it wouldn't work. I tried going to the Steam UI and messing with that and they also wouldn't read from there. So what I actually did instead was just using the face buttons or the, um, the joysticks by clicking in on them. I mapped those to L2 and R2 because they aren't used for anything else in the game as far as I could tell. So I mapped to those and used those instead and that worked fine. This is a bit unfortunate and really there's quite a few issues with this game as it currently stands. I'm just hoping they get resolved because this game being verified would be awesome and I think it's a perfect fit for the Steam Deck. Alright, now that we've covered all the little problems I've had on the Steam Deck so far with this game, let's talk about its performance. So performance wise, we're getting really good performance here and if you don't know, apparently this game is about 70% visual novel and 30% tactical RPG. So just keep that in mind with the balance. I have performance metrics for both of the battle and the visual novel side of things. And the visual novel side of things are pretty easy to render, so that's gonna give you a really good battery life overall. And I did try to lock things down to 30 FPS, but honestly, the battery life gain I got from it wasn't too great. So maybe just run things at 60 or 40 here if you want more fluid animations for the visual novel. And overall, if you have a full charge, you should last quite a while with this game. And the battle scenes aren't very intensive either. They're using sprites and the map's not too complex or anything, but I think the presentation of this game looks really good overall. So performance wise, very solid, good battery life, and I didn't encounter any major frame time spikes that would cause concern. So overall, this game has quite a few problems on the Steam Deck as it currently stands. Hopefully they can update the game or Proton gets updated so we don't have to worry about these issues and being verified on the Steam Deck would be awesome for this game. The presentation's really good. The font's pretty big for the actual visual novel parts too, so it's easy to read on the Steam Deck. Overall, I'm gonna be playing this one quite a bit and I'm actually gonna be making an impressions video coming out probably tomorrow or the day afterwards. I'll probably just be playing on my desktop though so I can capture footage for the whole time and I'll give my thoughts then. That wraps up today's video guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I have a ton of Steam Deck content. I'll have more game impressions coming soon and I'm working on a longer format video essay that will hopefully drop in the near future. Have a good one.